they do have this incredible warmth that I really love. And I love the things of the Greek culture, but there are certain things I don't like. I have become have more... not lived with them, that's why. I, because, that's it, yeah. right, because I haven't lived with them. Well, I haven't really lived with Greek people. Yeah. Like, I lived with a Greek father, and my, my mother's Greek, Australian born, but um, my home hasn't been a totally Greek home. I was 17 years of age. It was all nice and rosy. And, uh, <coughs> and I wanted to go out with someone. And the only way I could go out with someone was by saying that I'd get engaged, you know? But he I, wasn't I'm looking for a wife, no, not nor really, was not I looking for a husband, because... No. But we were thrown together through culture and circumstance. Yes, you say the culture comes from the old generation and stick generation after generation. The first one you go out with, you're expected to marry, you know? Like, in fact, they had a great big meeting, my family and my father's family over me and George, we just got to get engaged. It's, we're getting a bad name because we haven't got a ring. I've been but married 10 years and it's been a hard battle. You know, like, um, you can like I've, wanted to stay, I've wanted to stay an independent person and yet I have all these pressures on me all the time why I haven't got any children, why I live in this flat, why I don't have a home. But they enforce their opinions upon you. You know, like, I don't go to them and say, why have you got all those higher purchases? You know, like, it's their affair. They want to owe everything they can, you know? It doesn't bother me. But I don't want people to tell me how to run my life. I'm not happy in the Greek, and I'm not totally happy in the Australian way, you know? Like, I, I can't cope with being, let's say, with a totally Greek person all the time, like George is Greek, you know? Like, I can't handle it. Um, Lots of times I can, and other times I just can't at all. And, you know, like, I'll argue with him all the time about it, you know, because he can't really understand. He thinks he understands how I feel. Right. Yes, I understand no, you right. don't. But the thing is, you're not understanding Greek uh, <laughs> yeah. culture. We don't share that many interests. George likes the racing game. Well, I don't like it. Well, six of our own. What's yours? Well, better grants than even 50. Which one is one? Uh, Adelaide, anymore. Right. Kelly's eye. Kelly's eye. Got it. It's a good change. On the forms, it's a good change. Always I try to make my pay week after week, but it's not easy. I always like to do welding in my life, but never had the opportunity as a young boy. But uh, as soon as I came to Australia, I went to the technical school at Colford, night classes, and I started to pick up the job. I'm happy with my bosses. The bosses, they're happy with my work. Still a job, she do a different job as far much more educated and more higher than me. But uh, she works for the welfare, I think, and uh, workers' compensation and things like this. She is a ve very well-educated person. But it's not right no, to say is, I've got a is. high education. It I is. don't have a it high is. education. It is. It is. It is a bit too much different between, different between us two, you know? If you have a serious injury, it usually goes on to the court stage. Um, you will get a lump sum. Or if you lose the case, of course, you won't get anything at all. And this is what the insurance companies want. Greek people feel that what I'm doing is uh, totally out of the ordinary. Like, very few women go on to be a workers' compensation officer. It's really difficult to cope with, but I do manage to do it, and I don't know how I do it, but I do, you know, and I'm determined to sort of um, make it, and I will make it. It's very important to me to be an individual. Now, that may not be because I'm a Greek, but, I, but it's, 
it is, maybe it has been forced upon me because I am a Greek. I've got this obsession to be me, a person, and I'm always saying I'm not going to be just a wife or just run a house. I want to be a human being and I want to do something creative in my life. And I don't want to be an appendage of a man. Like, I'm not George's appendage, but I am sort of his wife and I feel that I want to be a freer person and I can't really describe what that means, but, you know, like now I'm happier, you know, like I'm 30 or so and I'm working in a job I'm really happy in and I feel that I'm creating and I'm creative and I'm being appreciated as a human being, not as a woman. When you're married to someone, you're more or less obligated to the person and I have this greater feeling of obligation because I am married to someone who is Greek. Um, you know, like George often says to me, I could leave any time I want, but I don't think he really means it. He, uh, he does treat me like a person and he gives me lots of things, which I, I won't find with many Greek men anyway, you know. But then I always hark back to the Greek man and I often think, well, why can't I be with another man? Um, no, I'm not really happy. I'm not really happy and I do think of butting out often. But I don't have the guts to do it. Like, I don't think it's fair to hurt another person. Um, you know, like, I wouldn't like to leave and... You know, like, you are hurting somebody else, you know, who hasn't really hurt you at all. But you can't explain to that person that you're not really happy, you know. Um, it's really hard to sort of describe, you know, you say, I want to go, I want to find something better, but what am I going to find that's better? Um, I feel that um, you are brought up in a morally obligating society. You are always obligated to somebody, be it your father, be it your husband, be it your brother. It's just that you I have this feeling you've got to do the right thing by these people and you will do it. You know, very few Greek women will just walk out. We are very happy together. We live 10 years together now. And everything goes rosy. Goes all right.